um, grace, grace to good people all over the world. Um, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58 on your bread of life today. And uh, the title of your bread is, Your labor will not be lost labor. Hallelujah. The new King James says, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Your labor is not in vain in the Lord. So your labor will not be, will never be lost labor. What an encouragement. What a profound truth for every servant, for everyone who is given himself to serve God in one way or another. Okay, so... <clears throat> True Christians have undoubted evidence that their labor will not be in vain. What's the evidence? Truth. The word of God is truth. And Paul is telling us the truth. He's telling us the truth. So this is the evidence. This is one thing that I know, that my labor in God is not in vain. This is how I know that everything you do for God is not a waste of time and that you will have good results. Somebody receive it. You will have good results. I know it. Because Paul, by revelation, is telling us the end of the matter. So it's never a waste of time. And you will see and you'll have and you'll experience good results in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So never allow yourself to fall into the devil's, uh, the devil's trap or the prey or the wiles of the enemy. Tricking you into thinking otherwise. You know that those that have served God for years and those that have done this for, uh, for years, they've, they've done really, served God for years and they may not be seeing the results and they are getting tired and the devil is always tricking them into thinking otherwise that whatever they've been doing all these years was actually in vain. That's a lie from the pit of hell. Listen to me. Never be hard on yourself if you're not yet yielding results. Remember, God doesn't reward results. God rewards faithfulness. And if you're faithful in a little service, let me tell you something, God will entrust you with much. If you're faithful with serving those 10 people, you pastor, teacher, God will entrust you with much. It's just the principle of God. Are you faithful in your service? Is it coming from a heart of purity? From a pure heart that wants to, that wants to elevate God and give Him all the glory? Let me tell you something, your labor is never in vain and God sees your heart hallelujah so in the mind of God he sees every of your labor as not wasting time that's how God perceives it that's how God sees it but rather as one which is always excelling and doing more than enough if God searches deep into your heart and just opens your heart this is what God is saying this is what I see Okay, you're always excelling and you're doing that which is, you're doing more than enough. You're excelling in what you're doing. So do not let anything move you from your place, child of God. Don't let the devil move you and trick you into thinking that your labor is lost. No, no, no. Yes, you may lose for God. You may lose for God, but you lose nothing by him. You understand what I'm saying? You will lose nothing by him. So friends, it is important you serve with this end in mind that your labor as a child of God will not be lost labor. You should always say to yourself every time you're going to serve, this which I'm doing is not in vain. Even this bread of life that I'm sharing is not in vain. Your bread of life that I do every day, I say to myself, Father, thank you that it is not in vain. I'm going to see the results. I thank you for gospel prophets because I know it is not in vain. I thank you for I have a Wednesday because I know it's not in vain. Every service that I do unto the Lord, I've started saying to myself, Father, I know it is not in vain because this is what the Bible is saying. And let me tell you something. As you keep serving, as you keep excelling, as you keep doing more than what is enough, the best is yet to come. And God bless you.